What's going on Port fans, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about players to watch in our first official discussion video for 2023. We're bringing back players to watch, it's been a pretty good series across the last few years uh, talking about players that either need to step up or they're going to make their mark in 2023 or just players that need to um, you know, just showcase something to us fans, a, a glimpse of what they can be going into the future. And today we're going to be talking about Miles Bergman, a player that's been on the Port Adelaide list now for the last three years. He's going to be looking to make the next step in his career. He's been injury riddled throughout last year. His opportunities came during COVID and he's been a, uh, you know, he was a pick 14 in the draft. He's been a very prominent player and has shown a lot of potential in the limited games that he has been a part of. Uh, so far. So very much looking forward to talking about Miles Berg and see what he can bring in 2023. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Talk about players to watch, Miles Bergman. Wonderful goal from Miles Bergman. So we know Miles has been um, pretty inconsistent, not so much his form, but in terms of playing time. Uh, he's had a lot of injuries um, going across the last couple of years, breaking into the team from round one against North Melbourne in 2001. And in his first year, he was pretty competitive. He, he always had a spot. Um, and he was always around the mark, even when performing in Sandville level. But he was also very, very prominent um, in the AFL side when he did get his opportunity. And I think halfway through last year when he did get his chance and he was told that he needs to step up and, and almost pull a finger out of such from, from the club, um, he's always been discussed as a potential trade to go back home, which I don't think should be the case. I think he's a very talented individual, a very, very um, hardworking individual kid that's definitely shown he, he can build he can be building himself in physical form but also he can be built mentally in, in trying to keep his spot and, and knowing when to go and knowing when to keep uh, being productive on the footy field and I think with Miles he's been able to cement that especially in the second half of last year when he got his opportunity and that fight for the top eight spot which we were going for he was always very consistent um, and I thought he had a major impact in how we performed and, and developed with the players like Pow Pepper, Todd Marshall, and, and Connor Rosie, you know, the players that are taking that next step now, and, and he was definitely a part of that group going into the back end of last year, considering his first half of the year was riddled with injuries and, and limited opportunities. Goes with a banana and kicks a ripper! The beauty with Miles Bergman is he is a multiple position player, and he's a very good utility, uh, can play on the wing, which we've seen quite a bit of, uh, with his positioning with Ken Hinckley, plays predominantly across half back. He can play tall or small, um, and he's very good up forward too. A very nice set shot, can have a, a booming right foot kick, very accurate. Um, and I think that's one of the, the the perks of him being a part of this team is he's got the Westoff esque um, you know, prominence about him. You know, it's, it's almost like he can play anywhere. He can be that reliable factor. Um, and, and it's not to put too much pressure on the kid, but it's to suggest that maybe he can be utilising in different ways and possibly even go through the midfield. Um, and, and, and we know he's out of contract and at the end of this year, and I think that's another key component to his 2023 season. He's going to be looking to impress, looking to see if he can get that next level with the contract. And I think he'll stay at Port Adelaide, I have no doubt about that, um, unless this year just goes to absolute waste again. But um, I, th I think he's one we need to lock in, lock in early and really give him security in his football because you give a kid security, you give a kid uh, confidence in himself and he's going to perform at a much better level than he would under pressure. You don't want kids that are 21, 22 years old out of contract feeling that pressure of, holy shit, I've got to perform here. If I don't perform, um, then I'm going to be looking at, you know, might not be getting an opportunity in the team and I'm out of contract and I... You've got to consider these factors, and with a kid of his talent, you've got to lock him away early, give him that confidence, give him that backing from the team, from the club, so he can go out there and perform at a, at a level that, one, you as a football club expect, two, he will think of himself personally to hit, and us as fans as well can say, hey, Miles Bergman was pretty damn good on the weekend, or Miles Bergman had a great impact in this moment. That's what I'm talking about in terms of giving that kid confidence, because if he has that confidence, the next level comes. The beautiful part, I think, about Miles Bergman as well, he has that composure, he has that versatility, and those are the assets in footy that you either have one or the other. You have that lacking of, of certain skills that might be not so much in your skill set, but also um, you know, mindset. You know, if, if you have that composure, he takes a lot of the kickouts, which um, you know, he's a very, very good kicker of the footy, very good judge of the play, and I think 
once he has that composure and, and that half a second more than other players, that's when you know there's a big difference in footy, is when players of that caliber have that half a second and they're able to implement the, that on their game and also impact the game for their footy club as well. So I think Miles has that composure, has that versatility, and he has the ability, which I think a lot of other people do lack, and he, I think Ryan Burton has it, I think Dan Houston has it, and Miles Bergman has it, is that ability to score goals, um, whether he's playing half back, half forward, or moves up the ground from you know on the wing, he has that ability to hit the scoreboard. I think the perfect opportunity he had was against Melbourne. He found himself up forward, had that ripper snap on goal, and it had an impact. And I think if we're getting 10 goal kickers a game, we don't have to have Dixon kicking five or Marshall kicking five. If if Miles is there kicking a couple, one or two, from the half back line or on the wing, then that's another part of his game that he can tick off and really showcase um, his skill set. And I think that is important for not only himself, but also us as a football club on the field. It gives us an extra, um, extra, I don't know how to word it, an extra opportunity, I guess, um, you know, that left field sort of impact on a, on a game where you don't expect the big names to hit targets or um, to always hit targets, I should say, or hit the scoreboard. You've got that, you know, the, the next bracket of, pl- of a playing group that can really help uh, with the game style. Uh, and kicking goals is something that Port Adelaide need to improve on. So I think Miles has that. And I mean, overall, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about Miles. I think it's time to invest in these players and, and really give them the opportunity to say, hey, stamp your foot on this game, have that chance. You've got all the top opportunity in the world now. We're going into a year where there's a lot of expectation to perform on the coach. Uh, there's a lot of expectation on the playing group. And with a player like Miles who's looking to prove a point, I go back to giving him that security, giving him that confidence and belief. Because if these kids have confidence and belief in their game and in the in Ken's game plan, and in their own footy. We've seen what Connor Rosie's been able to do to take it to not only the Lex level, but the level above. And, you know, Zach Butters is going to have that potential. Dersma's having a great preseason. You know, these are players that we've got to keep an eye on. Miles Bergman is one of those. You know, we list 10 players that we're going to keep an eye on this year. You know, Marshall's going to go, is he going to go back to back? Connor Rosie's going to go back to back. Butters going to finally have a full year on the field. Dersma, you know, we've got um, Jackson Mead, who's coming through the ranks. Uh, Jed McEntee, you know, Horn Francis is joining the team. Like, there is lists upon lists of players that are in different brackets that can go up a level, and Miles is one of those. So it'll be interesting to see how that occurs, but I'm very much looking forward, and he's very, very exciting, a beautifully built person, and um, I think Miles is going to be one of those burgers on the field that's going to have a full lettuce, a full mayo, and uh, I don't know where I'm going with that, to be honest, but he's going to be a, a nice, delicious part of our game plan. Well, Paul fans and everyone else watching that uh, has subscribed to the channel, jump on board for 2023. This is the end of the video. We'll be doing a couple more of these as we lead up into uh, later in the preseason and getting ready for round one, which is, I think, like nearly 50 days away, which is crazy to think about. 2023 has kicked off and on the channel as well. Check out the, uh, the trailer for 2023 as well. It was only released last week. And subscribe to the channel. We've got plenty more to come. It's going to be a big year on the pair. And uh, very much just looking forward to sharing a few surprises and a few new uh, pieces of content that are coming your way as well. So jump on board. My name's Anthony. And as always, count the pair.